Were you unable to pick up a Super NT directly from Analog when they went on sale recently? Well, I think a lot of people have been in that boat at the same time and it's not a great place to be. So let's, in this video today, explore what some of the other options may be. So you wanted a Super NT, that means that you have some Super Nintendo games, some cartridges that you were looking to upscale to your HD TV. So if we have a look now on eBay, we can see, yeah, the prices are slightly inflated from what they would have been if you could have bought them for RRP, but that is gonna happen. So can we compete with those kind of prices? Well, I'm assuming you have the original Super Nintendo console if you had some of the games that you were looking to play anyway. If not, you can probably pick one of those up fairly cheap. But however, there is some other equipment that you are able to source, which may not exactly replicate the output of a Super NT, but there's other options of being able to upscale to get a decent picture, which may now relatively compete with some of those Super NT console prices that are listed on eBay. Let's have a look here at some of the other solutions that I use personally to get a pretty good image out of my Super Nintendo console. So first of all, we're going to need a cable to be able to connect this console to the TV or to another device that you might wish to use. I'd recommend these HD Retrovision cables, which are a little bit pricey, However, they're really good quality and they're going to carry that signal via component, which you could plug directly into a CRT TV and it would look great. Or you could go to an HD TV or you may wish to upscale slightly to try to get a better picture. So for that, I'd recommend using a RetroTINK 2X Pro. Now this will receive the Retrovision component cables and it will output in HD to your television. So if we have a look at the price of that, they are still quite expensive, kind of on par with what the Super NT would have been in US dollars. However, this bit of kit can also be used for some of your other retro consoles if you've got the relevant cables to plug in. And the Tink does also accept some of the basic composite signals via the green video port. So you don't have to have the pricey cables, but that will be the best way to get the best picture possible. Now let's have a look at some of the outputs. Yoshi's Island is a great looking game anyway. The art style really, really shows off some good graphics. Here in smooth mode, it looks really bright, popping and great. You can then push the filter button and it puts on the next mode, which is now these scan lines. Looks a little bit dark, but there is a light adjuster on the cable, which then we'll feed that through the retro tink to kind of be able to adjust that a little bit. But scan lines always go darker with the retro tink, but I think it looks good. Like it actually really works with this game. Taking it off, it's rough around the edges now. This is kind of the standard input mode. I always tend to push the button again to get that smoothing mode. I personally just really like to view it that way, but I know others have different opinions. And then here's a little bit of Super LS just to show a slightly different faster moving game. So here's uh, a shooter which always never looked the best on the Super Nintendo anyway, but you can see with the scan lines on it looks a lot darker. And yeah, I think if you turned up the brightness it would kind of look like you were on a retro arcade cabinet, which is pretty cool and I know some people really, really like this. But for me I do prefer it brighter and popping. Sometimes it can look, look a little bit pixelated without the smoothing mode on, so I do tend to push the filter button for a second time after I've taken off the scans to get the bright popping picture that I like to play with. But you can see how great this looks and it holds up really, really well considering it's not for a Super NT. So what do you guys think? Are you going to give the RetroTINK and the HD RetroVision cables a go? Or are you still holding out for a Super NT? Let me know down in the comments what your plan is because it's always great to hear what you think too. Yes, mate.